Hello, you beautiful people. Thanks for tuning in. Got another workout here for you. Uh, should take you about 30 minutes altogether. If you just want to check out the exercises that we're doing right here and skip ahead, I'll have that in the description box. If you want to stay tuned, go over some of the movements. If you have any questions, sit tight and I'll go over everything with you. You'll see me dying about midway through the video, so hopefully you fare a little bit better than I do, but we get kind of a different lay of the land for this one. We're doing some EMOM work, so that stands for every minute on the minute, and then we're gonna break it up with a little bit more of like traditional weightlifting with sets and rest periods and everything. The first go around, that'll be 12 minutes long. Every minute we're gonna be doing a different exercise. So three different exercises, and we're just gonna repeat, so we're getting about four sets on each. First one's gonna be kettlebell swings for 20. Once you complete those 20, the remainder of that minute, that's your rest period. It could be 40 seconds, it could be 10 seconds. So depending on how fast you wanna work right here, we'll just pace it out, moving into thrusters, so a lot of lower body work, incorporating some pressing up on top, and then a alternating row. Fire up the posterior chain, get the lats involved. That'll take you about three minutes in entirety, whatever that rest period is. We're just gonna keep on working. So keeping that heart rate elevated, getting the blood pump and feeling good. Then we're gonna move into that traditional type, do some more lower body work, do some core work. Uh, then lastly, we're gonna hammer it home with another nine minute EMOM. So we're gonna be revisiting some of the older exercises from the beginning of the workout, making them a little bit more challenging, but working for less time. So as opposed to 12, we're now working for nine. So just pace yourself, and we'll see you on the other side. But starting off, we're gonna have those swings. Starting a little bit behind the kettlebell, three, four inches, give yourself some space. Soft bend in the knees, big hinge at the hips, strong in the core. We're gonna hike it back to about our backside. And then as we extend, squeezing the glutes, that kettlebell is gonna come up to about mid chest. And then just letting gravity do the work, let it come back down, repeat the process. As soon as you hit that 20, the remainder of that minute, you're gonna have to rest. So get a breather there. I um, should have about 30, 20 seconds maybe before we hit that nice exercise. Movement number two, we're gonna move into some thrusters. So we're having that kettlebell up in that front rack position, so elbows nice and tight. You can almost rest your chin, um, the horns of the kettlebell up on top. And you're gonna move into a nice deep squat, chest up, and then as we drive up, we're gonna try and use the momentum from our legs. We're gonna push that kettlebell up overhead. So it's a shoulder press as well as a squat. And that is looking for 15 of them before your next rest period. Third movement for this EMOM, that'll be some alternating gorilla rows, soft bend in the knees, butt going back, nice flat back, bracing the core, and we're just taking turns with our arms, rowing the kettlebell up into our back pocket. So big squeeze of the lats, drive hard through the elbows, and then we're just alternating between the two of them. So it'll be 10 on each side, 20 all together, and you got your rest before we hop into the next cycle. 12 minutes all together here. After we have that 12 minute EMOM, we're gonna break it up a little bit. So give yourself some time to kind of recuperate, get your lungs back, cool it down a little bit after going so fast paced for those 12 minutes. So going back into like traditional sets and some rest time and whatnot. This little section will be towards the lower half. So the first one will be a contralateral curtsy lunge with the torso rotation. So hypothetically, it's starting on our right side. We're gonna have the kettlebell up in that front rack position. So on your right arm, that right leg is gonna wrap around into a curtsy lunge. We're gonna rest our knee on the ground. When we're there, we're gonna rotate that torso around. So a lot of core stability, good thoracic mobility as well. We're gonna to return to center, and then we're gonna drive back up. So it'll be a lot of focus on that left leg, good mobility in the hips as well, and just an all around full body movement here. Movement number two to go along with the curtsy lunges, we're gonna do some side planking with a kick through. Everything we're gonna do on one side, and then we're gonna move over to the other side. So if we were doing the left side curtsy lunge, we're now gonna have our left leg moving, left arm planking, and then that last movement, we're gonna have the left leg bridging. But for the plank right here, we're gonna move up into a side plank. The left leg will be the one that's kicking through. So you're gonna feel a lot of adductor strain on the opposite leg, this time being your right side, and we're gonna get eight passes back and forth. So 16 kicks all together. Should really be feeling it in your obliques. Some shoulder stability there as well. We're trying to fight the urge to rock our shoulders as we're moving right there. So really tight in the glutes, really tight in the core, nice stable foundation. If this is challenging, we can drop down to a forearm, or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can grab a kettlebell, hold that up overhead, whatever kind of feels right for you in the moment. Wrapping up this side right here, we were lunging on our left side, planking on our left side, we're now gonna bridge on our left side. So that leg is gonna stay stationary, opposite side, right leg now, that'll be the one that's moving. So we're gonna bridge up, hips up off the ground, we're gonna curl our toes back towards our shin, that's gonna engage our quads on that movement side, and then just a small movement, you're gonna abduct. So this is thinking like abduction, it's going away. So that leg is exiting the midline. Open it up just a little bit, you're gonna feel it immediately. So it could be three inches, you know, and you start to wobble. If you try and open it more and that toe starts to fall over, the hips start to fall over, gone too far, bring it back in. So 
just go through that about 15 times. And now I'm sure you're gonna start feeling the burn. You're gonna feel it in your core as well, trying to stabilize everything. Finishing up this workout right here, we're gonna hop back into the EMOM style. So this time we're gonna do only nine minutes as opposed to 12, but we're upping the intensity of the exercises that we're doing. So the first one, we'll be doing a swing type of pattern, but as opposed to going in between the legs, like how we had the first time, just traditional swing, we're gonna be doing a side swing. So a little bit more narrow of a stance, same idea with the soft bend, the knees, still a flat back, still bracing the core, all that jazz, but now we're getting thoracic mobility right there. Hinging and rotating, and then as you extend, we're gonna go back to neutral. This is gonna stress a little bit more on the side that you're swinging on. You should feel a little bit more in that right glute if you're swinging on your right side. So you're gonna get 12, and then try and transition to the other side and get 12 on that side too, keeping that momentum going. Watch out for the knees though. I definitely bought myself on the first go around, but that's what we're looking for right here. Movement number two, very similar to the thruster, we're just throwing a clean in beforehand. So instead of doing 15, we're now doing 10, but starting from the ground up. So we're gonna crowd over that kettlebell, and as we pull, we're doing that explosive deadlift. So extending through the hips, pulling high through the elbows, and then we're gonna rack it right underneath our chin as we would in that first go around. So this will just be for 10, starting from the ground, really tighten the core, squeezing through the hips, and using your legs. This exercise right here, just going back into those gorilla rows. Instead of 10, we're gonna do eight this time, and kind of program this to give you a little bit of a breather as we're getting through it. I know I needed it, I was pretty gassed at this point. When was the first go around, soft bend, pulling it, big squeeze, all right? You got this. So that's enough talking. So let's hop into it. We're gonna start off with those swings. We've got 12 minutes ahead of us. All right, let's get it. We got a long 12 minutes ahead of us, so let's pace ourselves, let's breathe. If you need water, grab water. You do have the entirety of that minute to get those reps situated. So just be mindful of the form and let's chug along. If y'all were curious what the weights of the kettlebells were, the yellow one all the way in the back is 30, the middle one's gonna be 45, and then the maroon one is 65. So typically I'll be doing swings or lunges with the 60s, and then any type of overhead movement or pulling, I'll hit the 45s. Especially with this one where there is a high volume with it, I will kinda tend to be on the lighter side.
let's try and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth right here. That'll help to slow the heartbeat. If you need to, try and keep your hands up over your head. Don't bend down at the waist. Keep your hands off your knees. Almost there, halfway. mindful of those fundamentals, making sure those knees stay outwards, chest up proud, squeezing the glutes, really tighten the core. Don't sacrifice form just to get these reps through. Fourth and final set here. We got three minutes left in this first round of the EMOP. Stay breathing, stay with that good form. You got it.
very nice, everybody. You got about two minutes now, so let the heart rate come back to normal. Give yourself some water. Stay moving. You don't want to cramp up at all. We're going to move into the more traditional side of weightlifting, if you will. So we got a couple of sets here. We're going to have more regimented rest periods in between before we hop into that third second. But right now, you get a couple of minutes, so go. want to be mindful of keeping our chest up. Just like with any kettlebell movement, we're going to have a little bit of an offset load. So just really brace that core. And with the added rotation, we don't want our shoulders dipping down. We don't want our chest falling down. All right, so stay strong in the core. This is an excellent movement if you are looking to get better at twister, good in the obliques, and strong in the shoulders as well. So let's get through this one. thinking too large of a movement here very small very intentional try and feel this one out you should feel it in the obliques the quads the hips the glutes just about everywhere so really mindful with this movement Let's be mindful here with this movement. Our torso doesn't want to rotate anymore. We find our head kind of reaching around, the eyeballs going. That's just our head playing tricks on us, trying to get ourselves a little bit more mobility. You know, keep an eye on that, no pun intended, of where your shoulders are. When your shoulders stop comfortably moving in that torso rotation, then that's when it's enough and you can bring it back home. So I don't want you reaching that neck all the way around and looking out of the corner of your eye.
for our bridges right here, you do not need to keep your hands over your face or your neck cranked up like crazy. The sweat drips into my eyes and the sun is in my face. So wherever your head is comfortable, where your arms are comfortable, that's all you. As we progress through this last set of the lunges, if you do need to hold on to that kettlebell with both hands, you can do so. I know my arm and shoulder were starting to get a little bit tired at this point, so by all means, if that's going to help support it, go for it.
to hop into the last portion of this workout nine minute imam starting off with the kettlebell side swings so get whatever water shake out the legs get ready for it you got nine minutes till the end you got it With this second go around, we may have slightly less rest periods than our 12 minute section in the beginning. So just be very mindful of breathing, pace yourself out, finish strong.
approaching that halfway mark here. Four and a half minutes down, four and a half left to go. Light at the end of the tunnel. If I wasn't trying to record this for you guys, I probably would have tapped out in this last round, so y'all motivated me too. Kind of getting through this together. One set left for everything, and we're home free. Great job today, people. If you made it all the way through, pat yourself on the back. I was dying, so hopefully you made it out well on the other side. So we'll see you next week, all right? Thank you. Good job out there, y'all. Um, if you made it till the end of the workout, good on ya. That was a good one. Um, if you like something, let me know. I'll try and continue doing that, like a way I formatted it or something. Um, if you weren't crazy about something or it wasn't really working for you, um, also let me know. Drop a comment and I'll try and work with you. Try and make these as good as possible for you. All right, see you next time.